How you guys doing? CGF here once again, and I guess this is the third emergency broadcast I've done in the last week. I'm breaking all sorts of records. Um, <laughs> I had to do this broadcast because... As you can see with this tweet, which I am highlighting from my Twitter account or X account, whatever you want to call it, something really dawned on me. And it should have dawned on me a long time ago. But you have those light bulb moments where something just becomes abundantly clear and you have to talk about it. And I wanted to jump online quickly and record a quick video to say this because I think it needs to be said. As you can see in my tweet right here, Saquon Barkley is the leader of the New York Giants not Daniel Jones, and it's becoming clearer to me every day. And it's hard. It's hard for me to say this from someone who supported Daniel Jones for so long, someone who supported him before he was drafted, but it's the truth. And I think a lot of the problems with the Giants right now stem from this. What I mean is that I believe Saquon Barkley is the leader. He's the leader of the team. He was the leader of the team last year. And when he didn't get his contract, when the Giants – dicked him around in no certain terms and gave Daniel Jones the big contract. I think it rubbed a lot of people in the locker room the wrong way. And I think that is part of the problem and part of the reason why the team is underperforming. I really believe that Saquon Barkley is the leader of the team. And I think there are some people in the locker room who are, were miffed or upset when he didn't get his contract. And it's nothing against Daniel Jones. Daniel Jones, I love the guy. I, I've voiced that many times, both on X and on here. I love the guy. I would love to see him bounce back and have a good season. I would love for him to be the, the Giants quarterback going forward. But the truth of the matter is, is that is pretty unlikely at this point. And it's not that Daniel Jones doesn't have the physical tools. We've talked about this ad nauseum. I believe Daniel Jones has all the tools. I think he's more athletic than Eli Manning, but he doesn't have the it or the, and that's something I was talking about. And I just want to give a call out to Tommy G. Him and I have had our differences, but he's a great content creator and he's someone who basically has worked his way up and I want to give him props. And I know him and I haven't looked eye to eye on, seen eye to eye on things, but I do wish him the best. Today's his birthday. So if you're listening, happy birthday. But he um, commented on my um, tweet right here. And it's, I appreciate it because it's, it's hard. It's hard to admit sometimes when you're wrong about people and it's wrong about things. And I, I was honestly, I've been wrong about a lot of things and I was wrong about Jones. So I think Jones is very tough. I think the guy will walk across broken glass. He will go through a brick wall. He'll do anything he can for the team, but he just doesn't have the presence you need, the leadership presence. And I used a story in this thread about this tweet that I tried to, to explain what presence really is. In the movie Draft Day from 2013, 2014, there's a scene when they're talking about quarterbacks and they're talking about Joe Montana from the Super Bowl, I think it was 88 probably or 89. It was in the late eighties when Joe Montana was, I think it was the Superdome. I, I don't know for sure, but it was at the end of the game, he was leading the 49ers down the field against the Bengals. And in the middle of the drive or in the beginning of the drive, he looks at the sideline he sees John Candy standing there. And he tells everyone in a huddle, hey, take a look. That's John Candy. And kind of just loosened up everyone. Everyone kind of had a chuckle about it. In the most stressful time, you're in the Super Bowl, the final drive of the Super Bowl, and he has enough presence to see on the sideline John Candy standing there. And that's leadership, and that is presence, and that is something that Daniel Jones does not have. And it hurts me to say it because I love the guy, but you either have it or you don't. Joe Montana was that elite quarterback. He's in the Hall of Fame. He had the presence. I hoped that Daniel Jones would become that. It's becoming clearer and clearer to me every day that he isn't that. And he's also not the undisputed leader of the team. So that's pretty much what I wanted to say. I just wanted to jump on and talk about that because I think it needs to be said and no one is bringing it up. I feel that Saquon Barkley is the leader of the Giants, and when he didn't get his contract, it caused a lot of rifts 
with certain players in the locker room and not Daniel Jones's fault. His obviously his agents were going to try to get the best deal for him, but Daniel Jones as a leader should have made sure, you know what? I'm going to make sure my buddy gets paid too, because honestly it's just led to this. So that's all I have to say. Please like share and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys later. Enjoy the games tonight. Just a quick impromptu um, video I wanted to do. So take care. Talk to you soon.